Hi folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com, so I've got a quick ROM overview of the Alliance ROM. The latest Alliance ROM uh, comes with the latest Jelly Bean, uh, based off the latest Android Jelly Bean uh, 4.1.2 XXLSZ, as you can see here. Um, now, this ROM is pretty cool. Uh, I've been actually following since version 1. I've had problems with version 1. Version 3 is out, and I really like it. Um, First of all, there is a slight lag, as with any um, any of the official TouchWiz um, Jelly Bean ROMs. Just go ahead and install Tegra Overclock app uh, and uh, load Overclock module, and uh, go ahead and overclock it to 1.6 gigahertz. Um, this will make it kind of lag-free uh, pretty fast. After you know the 200 megahertz makes a complete difference. Um, there should be an overclockable kernel in uh, in a few few weeks or a few I mean in in the next week or two. Um, but in the mean, meanwhile, you can use a Tegra overclock, and also this one works with uh, stock uh, stock ROMs. But uh, if you want to set it on boot to keep the overclocking uh, without having to do this again, uh, you'll have to get the ultimate version. Um, I do recommend it if you plan on using. Uh, your note for a long time and very good app and also you can overclock uh, GPU. I'm not a, in any way affiliated with um, those developers of Tegra overclock app uh, so just telling you. Uh, and also this ROM features multi-window obviously uh, enabled for all the apps. Whoops. Um, there you go and uh, you can run uh, for example Dolphin and the stock browser uh, at the same time, it's been enabled for all apps. Oops, maybe not. There we go. Yes, it is. Um, oh, it just—I uh, haven't. I just installed it. That's why it's defaulting to the full screen there. It was kind of surprising. And if you add more apps, it will automatically be added to the uh, multi-window bar there, uh, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So you got the full multi-view there. Uh, hack for all apps. You don't have to do anything. And uh, let me show you the highlight of this ROM. Uh, first of all, it does come with two different cameras. Um, you'll see actually two different camera apps. Uh, the one with the lens slightly pointed left is the regular uh, Note camera. And also, that camera is Android 4.2 Photosphere camera. Now, with the Photosphere camera, everything works except for the camcorder. Just don't use the camcorder. If you start recording, it will restart your phone. Um, but it's fine. The photos are fine. You can get uh, all the features of it, and also um, the the photosphere works just fine, uh, which is really nice. And uh, this is a feature definitely you gotta have uh, if you have a custom ROM, and you can only get it with 4.1.2 ROMs currently, uh, because Google blocked out the libraries for the 4.2.2. Alright, and uh, that's really nice, and also you do get the regular Note camera, so if you have to take videos, just use the Note camera here, uh, works just fine, and let's record, and stop, or pause. So nice to have two cameras, definitely uh, one of the bonuses of having a custom ROM. Now let me show you the heart of this ROM, is the, uh, the Alliance Control. Uh, Go to custom settings here, go to general mods, you'll be able to enable long press uh, skip song. So uh, when you're listening to music, you don't want to turn your phone on, just uh, hold down um, hold down the volume buttons. And also um, long, press, long press back uh, to kill apps. If you want to enable that, this will disable the multi-view, a uh, multi-window. If you don't need a multi-window, but you want uh, to kill apps easily, you can enable that. Uh, low battery pop-up, full charge notification, USB connect sound. Let's go to launcher here. Um, you can also enable scrollable wallpaper. I find it a little bit laggy, so I don't actually recommend that one. Uh, for UI mods, clock options, um, you can uh, change the clock style here. Uh, center clock if you want. AM, PM style, um, small AM, PM, or you can do uh, normal AM, PM. All right. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up. Days of the week, this kind of cool. Um, if you want a Saturday on there, today's Saturday, big Saturday, that's nice to have. Sometimes I'm always wondering what day it is. Uh, so that's very nice. You can also change the status uh, clock color. Make sure you hit uh, system UI there. 
and also status options here um, you can actually change the colors of your status bar so if I don't change the status bar color let's say uh, my favorite color uh, let's say is blue maybe I want kind of a light bluish there um, do that and restart system UI and uh, you'll have a uh, different color there which is kinda nice you know subtle little things here but you can customize it um, give it a second here it will show up and boom and uh, now it's hard to see all the other colors so you can change all of those to let's say for example Wi-Fi icon color I want to kinda stand out um, maybe I can choose some kinda yellow there uh, if you, you can turn alpha off I think also so you can kind of play with it, change the signals, change the Wi-Fi icon colors, uh, notification uh, panel colors. Um, sometimes you might have to reboot because while we're changing colors, it kind of messes everything up. Um, but there you go. Yeah, it's not changing right now, but it, it will eventually change. Uh, again, you might have to reboot. And also you can change the toggles here, your favorite toggles here, add up to 23, go to number and order go to toggles um, I've got all 23 enabled here if you want to uh, change the toggle order um, maybe GPS first then that will show up first pretty simple there and also you can change the toggles color if you want to um, change it to oh this is the alpha it's yeah you make sure you set the alpha uh, it's how uh, what is it I forget the word, but if you set it here, it's not going to show up as much. But if you set it like this and start uh, system UI, you will get a new new toggles color. And also, you can change the text color uh, if you want to. Uh, just little customizations here and there, but kind of fun to play around with just to get the perfect uh, UI. There you go. So I've got blue there. And uh, is that it? And also lock screen mods, you have a bunch of different lock screens. Um, Galaxy S3 Ripple, if you want uh, ink effect, make sure Ripple is on, uh, ink effect is on, and you can ch choose your favorite color here. Make sure you set the alpha also, otherwise it will not show up. Um, nope. uh, sometimes you might have to reboot. That's one thing I found with this ROM while you're customizing it, it might just not take effect right away um, there we go yeah it, it will work eventually uh, but let me go ahead and show you some of the other lock screens here uh, blackberry 10 swipe up um, jelly bean optimus 4x this one's kinda neat I guess a circle going out and some more ones you can play around with Xperia Z that's actually my favorite here and uh, boom there you go. Um, and also lock screen torch, this is very nice. Uh, anytime you need to use the flashlight, just double tap. Hit it once and hit it once. Boom. And you got flashlight there. Great for going into your garage. Um, did I cover everything here? Oh, phone mods. This is kind of cool if you work in marketing, uh, maybe you're a spy FBI agent uh, or whatever. Um, you can turn on auto recording for incoming and outgoing calls. Um, this is great. It's going to record everything you say and do on your phone. Um, it might be great to have another separate phone just for that and install this ROM. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward ROM. And also, you do get S Memo. Just double tap. Uh, was it with the click on? Let me see. I forget how to do this. There we go. Yeah. So if you want to use the S note, go ahead and do that. And that's pretty much it. Pretty solid ROM. You can customize all of these things here. And uh, uh, you get two cameras. And also, don't forget to overclock the ROM with Tegra Overclock. And if there is an overclockable kernel for you know the TouchWiz Jelly Bean, I'll be sure to post it and let you know first. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, check it out for this week's ROM of the Week on the GTN 7000 only. And uh, do let me know what you think. And if you have a Galaxy Note, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with Ramal Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And if you have, thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android. Uh.